Welcome to another episode of St. Vincent and Told Stories. Uh, we posted uh, some rocks uh, yesterday and uh, said uh, there is a possibility that uh, they could be gems. Well, uh, some persons have uh, said uh, they know what rocks they are. We are going to look at uh, that and we are going to look at all the untold stories. Uh, big ups uh, to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and touch the bell icon. Because you see this video, you are going to enjoy it to the fullest. And you are going to want to see more like this one. On the last episode, I posted up some rocks. And as the place went wild, as they called and told stories in and told. You have your buckets, you have your shovel. As uh, they said, well, if those rocks are up uh, there, then we are wealthy. And uh, probably there is gold as well. And told the stories. And another individual held a conversation yesterday. And we discussed whether gold could be there or not. But when we look at uh, the possibilities, we came to a conclusion and said that uh, the chance might be slim. Uh, because most of the place, uh, the gold is mined uh, next to rivers. And uh, plus, uh, the rocks are brown. Uh, so we said uh, that, uh, you know, uh, there could be diamonds. Uh, there could be gems and emeralds. Remember first time when we used to sit uh, down and watch those old-time pirate movies? From the time the man them hear gold, they say head not. From the time they hear emeralds, they said pirates are coming. Uh, but I used to watch an episode called Gold Rush. And uh, some men used to mine gold in Alaska. And then they went to Guyana. But one thing we noticed is that the soil looked uh, the same. It was a uh, brown. And uh, the gold wasn't on uh, the surface. You would have to dig uh, to get uh, the gold. And use things like a jig and a shaker. Uh, you know, I don't told the stories. We read a lot. And I uh, did some research on uh, geotermal projects around the world. I remember I told you that they said that no geotermal project ever caused a volcanic eruption. In St. Vincent, persons are still skeptical because they are saying that the gel from the geotermal project touched a vein and the volcano erupted. I am not a scientist. Probably we could hire someone to do some research. Uh, to see if uh, that happened. Is there anyone in uh, St. Vincent uh, that is as good as Sherlock Holmes and uh, Ben Matlock? Uh, to be honest, uh, since the volcano erupted, how many of you sent uh, for or ordered any type of metal detector? Uh, we know uh, that in some countries, uh, they have a special uh, treaty. It's like if you find diamond or gold, it belongs to the country. And as the government takes it away. Uh, but uh, tell me something. We know how Vincent Shans are. You walk up to suffering. All the way up to Bamboo Range. As that far journey. And you do so and put up an piece of diamond. What will be the case? I don't know. If uh, the mature poor sons and the elderly is locked onto this program, remember they had a song way back in the primary school. Me now go back as so free. If uh, the laws uh, state uh, that you have to hand it over uh, to the big uh, man, we strongly believe uh, that uh, the big man should sign uh, something and give you your fair share, an equal uh, percentage, let's say half, half or something. Uh, we have to bear in mind uh, that it is not a wallet uh, that you find on the ground uh, that uh, belongs to someone. You went up to Sofre, you dig uh, the soil, and you found a piece of diamond that uh, belonged uh, to no one. I don't know if you ever watched uh, that uh, movie. I think uh, they call it uh, the Mandomara. When the man did find a piece of thing, and as we say that the thing come out the sky, you know what uh, the man found? A piece of number two. The man ride wrong with it. The man sleep with it. Eat the planet all thing. Uh, to my astronaut friends, what else they call them again? Meteorite or something like that. Uh, so you see, with uh, those rocks that uh, they found, you can't uh, be excited too early and start uh, the celebration. Uh, the rocks look uh, green and uh, blue light. Well, we spoke to an export in Trinidad uh, that makes granite. 
And he said uh, that it looks like uh, those that they use for granite countertops. And he said uh, that uh, there could be some expensive pieces in uh, between as well. Uh, but you see, uh, the thing is, uh, you're going to lift up uh, something uh, that weighs uh, 200 pounds all the way from Zofre. Uh, to come down and then the exports uh, tell you that uh, that is not uh, the type uh, that is valued a lot of money uh, you ever watched uh, the african movie when the man find the diamond and a man spot when the man put the diamond in a man place and the man call out the man and say boy bring that uh, diamond now uh, well uh, knowing uh, the big man uh, that we have here uh, you can't be able to receive your final piece of diamond. The officers would start putting hand on you to bring in that diamond. So you remember when a Paul was found in a conch up at Oya by the fisheries? What became of that? As if the man who find it ever get anything, we need to hear from the Ministry of Agriculture. Or oh, if he got anything, what was his percentage? Uh, you see, here's a people in St. Vincent and the Grenadines wants to know that. And another question, if a diamond is found, who will do the mining? Would it be foreigners or would it be Vincentians? And uh, you guys like to boast, uh, talking about how many persons you sent uh, to university. Uh, so you can't uh, tell me uh, that there is no Vincentian who can't uh, do that type of job uh, to specify if we have a diamond in the soil or not. Uh, just imagine if a queue is uh, back home and uh, some of them have not received any monies as yet. Uh, they have to watch uh, the neighbor and uh, smell the neighbor's pot uh, cooking. Uh, you see, uh, they like to give estimates uh, saying, oh, we donated 27,000 food packages and uh, so forth. Like we don't uh, be in the red zone. Not every day the chucks come in as they say, you know. A lot of persons in the green, the orange and the yellow zone need help as well. You know, hear money, the man, them a call, like every minute somebody a donate. Well, a piece of information came in uh, saying uh, that uh, some persons are receiving a second batch of money uh, from the WFP, which uh, stands for World Food Programme. Uh, but one saw said uh, that uh, they are picking out. This is not from untold stories. Uh, this is from a source. Uh, so one of our sources uh, staying in a shelter alleged uh, that uh, some persons there received a second uh, batch of money because they are picking and choosing who to give the second uh, batch. But at untold stories, we don't want to go off of allegations and speculations. So what we are going to do we are going to ask uh, somebody from the World Food Program if they could confirm this information. Uh, you see, who don't realize eh, that the man them smart like a ringo in a whole story time. Uh, you see, uh, the man them a final kind of thing uh, for do. Uh, for say that uh, them use up sorting among them. Uh, the first a set of millions uh, that came in was sent to help uh, the evacuees. And they uh, to build back uh, their houses. But as uh, they might take it and do different things. Uh, well, uh, Dr. Lynch, we knew you had uh, to test uh, those rocks. Can you tell us what uh, the findings are? Are any gems in them? Uh, well, as you know, in St. Vincent, uh, they got uh, tighter with uh, the job. Uh, some institutions are saying, if you don't uh, take uh, the two jobs, uh, then you have to stay home. I remember when we was small and you catch a little thing uh, that your mommy or your grandparents would buy up some bush and thing, uh, some guinea pepper, uh, some seed and a leaf, uh, somebody me I, and uh, some different cinnamon bush and so on. Uh, but uh, they said uh, that not even guinea pepper bush can help you with uh, this one. Uh, so they are saying uh, that you have to take uh, the job. Uh, the indigenous people uh, living in uh, places like the Amazon rainforest. What are the numbers in those places compared uh, to the big sea? Because remember, we know uh, that uh, they use a lot of uh, bush. Um, I remember one time uh, that uh, them used to say that you have to take warming. And me the panayans and a little boy, I say, Mommy, Mommy, me now want no zentil. Please not give me no zentil. Give me some bush tea. And I'm a while still, you know, we have to look back and laugh and ask yourself, how did Zentil used to work? 
Uh, since we became adults, did any of us ever use Zentil again and those kind of things? Also, uh, uh, because of certain things, a lot of persons have to stay home. A uh, boy, sticky situation. An extreme poverty. Unemployment. Over 420 businesses closed uh, down. Over 2,000 employees lost uh, their jobs. Uh, but uh, Gemma is still getting her stipend every month and laughing. Uh, we have uh, to pay taxes while she collects uh, that uh, money free. <laughs> but you know, so Vincent Shans like it. Uh, well, not all of them. Uh, some of them. Uh, with uh, that being said, we just want to big up the entire population in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, uh, the regional islands and the international countries who are uh, supporting and uh, praying for us uh, during these difficult uh, times. You see why persons have to seek help from abroad because it's what's going on in St. Vincent. You know, the big man uh, normally comes on and denies everything. I want to hear him deny uh, that one. Seeing uh, what happened uh, to Vibes Cartel after they said he told Isaiah Ling. I mean, I come as thing. Uh, very soon, I will stop talking about uh, the big man. Because as I told you, nothing goes in the St. Vincent. They will come for you.